Three, two, one. Hey there, and welcome back to a, another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. So, like I always, appreciate swinging by and watching another beer review. Uh, if you're uh, first time watching the channel, be sure to check out my other videos. Be sure you uh, like this video. Drop a comment down below. Uh, tonight's episode, we're going to take a look at one that I found uh, recently. This is uh, June of 2020. Uh, it was recently in the Aldi grocery store. Uh, picking up some stuff for a cookout and um, I came across um, first off they had some local some in-state Ohio craft beer in there some Rheingeist and whatnot but then I seen this six pack of this IPA for six dollars and 99 cents for the six pack so this here is a hopping command hopping nomad IPA session L for the true adventurer inside us all so hopping nomad ipa uh it doesn't really say anything more about it really on the can on the box here uh again six dollars and 99 cents i didn't think i could go wrong with that uh it says on the back state of on the bottom sorry state of brewing wanake wisconsin so uh it's four and a half percent alcohol by volume so that's the six pack that it came in. And we'll crack it open here and uh, pull a can out of this. All right, so let's see here. We'll put that back down over there. So the can uh, says Hopping Nomad IPA, pretty much. Uh, it's got like a little um, hot air balloon uh, with some hops on it. Actually, it's pretty cool artwork, really, on there. Uh, just a green can um, very generic as far as really saying uh, the name of the brewery I'm assuming this is something um, that is brewed uh, specifically for the Aldi grocery store which was my guess I'm just guessing at that it was only six dollars ninety nine cents uh, for the six pack they do list the ABV in the IBU uh, it's four and a half percent alcohol by volume according to the can is that what it said on the bottom here uh yes it is and it's also a uh, 42 ibu it says clean medium malt backbone light body aroma aroma of a mixed berries lemon citrus bubble gum citrus zest and tropical pineapple so it does actually sound pretty good so a dollar not quite a dollar and a quarter a can here um it, this could be a, a still or something hell i don't know or it could be a, a just a dumper so uh, uh i'm gonna give the artwork a four out of four on the artwork or four out of five on the artwork i do like what they did there so let's crack this open. No explosion there. Ah, uh, typical looking pillow. Uh, producing a white head up on there. Uh, just a hazy golden color to that. Huh, doesn't smell too bad. Um, I'm just getting like a citrusy aroma off of this thing. It says aroma of mixed berries. It, it smells a little bit more uh, citrusy than anything, but I think I just did get a whiff of that, uh, what they're talking about, bubble gum. Yeah, so when I rub my nose across it just right, I do kind of get that... Um, that's like a sweet bubble gum uh, aroma coming off of this. It's pretty wild, really. So we'll dump that all, get all that in there. I'll set that can up there so you can get a look at that can. And we'll go ahead and uh, uh, get a drink on this. See what, uh, see what the taste gives. So for a session, L. I was expecting it to be very light. Uh, it's got a very watery 
uh, taste to it. I mean, um, very light bodied. Um, man, almost, it almost had just this water vibe. Not a whole lot uh, offering in the taste on this one. Um, very, very basic um, generic taste. So this whole thing put me in mind of um, Founders All Day IPA. All Day Sessionel, Pelo. Um, I don't know why, I just couldn't get that out of my head. The green, um, just, that's what I was thinking. It's nowhere near that. To me, it's very watery. Um, it lacks all those flavors. Um, th there's no, mate. it smells better than it actually tastes. Um, I don't get... Any tropical pineapple. I get a mild citrus, maybe a little bit of a lemon. Um, but that's pretty much it. Nothing that's crazy in the flavor. Um, Hopping Nomad IPA is not very happy at all. Um, with all that said, and, and I don't want to sound like I'm hating on this too bad. If I was going to pick up a light beer, like Coors Light or something like that, drink ice cold, I would prefer this over that, okay? Um, ice cold, cheap beer for the price. Cheap, cheap beer. A cheap IPA. Um, seven bucks for a six pack. I mean, come on. Um, I knew I wasn't going to be getting anything crazy delicious. Um, I did have a little bit of hopes that would be better than it is. But scoring this thing, just get it out of the way real quick. I'm actually good with giving this about a 3.75. Um, and I'll tell you why. Price point alone, 3.75. Summertime, crusher. Get this at that cheap price. Put it in a tub of ice, cooler of ice out there. Drink it ice cold. Um, they would go down nice and easy. Um, very similar to um, like, like what a Coors or a Bud Light or a Miller Light, uh, those type of, uh, you know, cheap beers you buy and um, want to just drink in bulk uh, on a hot day, whether it's poolside, grilling, whatever. So I'm actually good with giving this a 3.75 out of 5. Um, I was a little brutal on it, but I got to remember, I only paid 7 bucks for the six pack, so can't hate on it too much so 3.75 uh, out of 5 um, if you've had this before uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this uh, anyhow like subscribe uh, check me out on social media hit that notification bell uh, drop a comment down below that's my thoughts